Welcome to the channel everyone. I'm John and this is Daybreak, my fast CRV. We're going camping this afternoon, but first we need to run by Camping World. So we'll see you there. Well, a good visit here at Camping World. Everything went real good. Went in, picked up a coffee pot so I can have coffee tonight. And uh, also got my electrical outlet going tv's going everything's working fine we're cool and ready to camp tonight see you over at the campground okay guys we are in washington north carolina we have made it out of greenville got out of all that greenville traffic not so much traffic over here pretty nice day looks like it's going to be in the 70s perfect for camping so we're going to go in to the bp make a pit stop We'll be right back out and get on over there to Trainers Creek Park. I believe it's a resort. I don't know. That. They have a lot of stuff there. I'll tell you about it in a few minutes. Okay. The direction said go to the first red light in Washington. And this is the first light. And turn right. So we're going to make a right turn. Go on down about a mile or so. And you'll see. Well, I think it said go to the first or second cotton field on the right and turn right. So, yes, we're on the right road. This is Clark's Neck Road right here at the uh, sheet station. Sometimes you guys uh, have a lot of uh, different stations. Uh, this is one of the big outfits in the Carolinas in the southeast, the sheets. So, let's get on down to Trainers, Trainers Creek. I hope I'm pronouncing that right and uh, see what's going on. You're probably wondering uh, why all these local trips in the winter. Uh, I haven't had daybreak but about a month now. So what we're doing, we're out here taking some dry runs and just uh, little shakedown cruises. To, Make sure there's uh, nothing wrong with Dave Wright, that she's ready for the road and everything. And, uh, and so, uh, but we didn't, we didn't want to really get out, get out there and start traveling across America, which is what we intend to do. Until we got all the bugs out of Dave Wright, we went over to the camping world today and had a few things done. And so we're going to keep checking it out, keep looking around for things, you know, that we can find to put in there get her ready for the road and make her comfortable. So you guys are coming along with us and uh, let's get uh, across some kind of creek right here. But I hadn't seen the second cotton field yet. Matter of fact, I haven't seen the first cotton field. So, oh, I see moss hanging in the trees over there. But, uh, we're back in Pitt County now. Okay, so we're back in my home county. Let's go on down here and see if we can find that cotton field. Hi there, Buster Brown. UPS. That's the company I retired from. <laughs> oh, well. I believe we have made it. Welcome, campers. This is the place. Let's go on in here. Go to the office and get checked in. This is a good Sam's part. Where I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go in. Uh, maybe I can go around this way. It looks like a check in place. Yes, this is it. Let's go on over here and get, get a daybreak parked. They have a lot of amenities here. They have a clubhouse, uh, of course, the store and the check in place. I think it's which where we're at right now. Uh, I'm going to get them over here. Right by the swimming pool. We have a big swimming pool here and a game room. And of course, a deep water creek with kayak rentals, restrooms, showers, full hookups. And if you're new to camping, full hookup means water, electricity, and sewage, which we are going to hook up to all these guys this afternoon. So we'll have our hookups. And I think the price here is $45, uh, off-season rate. And you also, uh, if you're a good Sam's member, you get a 10% discount, which we are. 
All right, be right back. I'm going in the store here and check it out. All right, this is the right place, all right. Registration office open. And uh, for your protection, please wear a mask. Well, we, I think we brought our mask. Let's go back. And, I don't have one on me. Let's go back and get our mask. It does get a little confusing sometimes. Some place wants you to wear a mask and some don't. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. That's nice. Oh, this is a nice store. Uh, you got about anything here we want. I need to get checked in and see if I can camp tonight here. Hey, what have you got? Where's your... I've got a Class C, 24 foot. Just for one night? Uh, yes, ma'am. Just one. Ma'am. I didn't see it. Oh. Yeah, I'm one night and uh, I'm good Sam's member. I bought it at Camping World. Okay, we're checked in. Let's take a little look around the store. Looks like they're getting set up for some kind of dinner or something going on here. Got the pots out. We're in the game room. Uh, of course, a pool table. And I got some machines over there, video machines. Uh, nice little store. Looks like it's fairly new. And, uh, oh yeah, I got a coffee pot. And uh, let's see. Anybody want an ice cream? They got you covered there. Looks like some. Okay, got that. And some games. Oh wow, a lot of lot of things in here. I think we bought and brought a little a few snacks and some food. We'll be okay there. Plenty of t-shirts. Okay, let's get on out here and see if we can find our spot for daybreak. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see what. She gave me uh, site 216. And uh, you can rent uh, these campgrounds by the night. You can stay here by the week or the month or the year. Now, I don't know, personally, I don't know who would want to stay here a year, but a lot of folks do. But I, I didn't buy a daybreak to sit in one place for a year. <laughs> anyway, daybreak, let's go on around and see if we can find our plot spot. All right, we got to get the gate open. They do have security. And the speed limit is 7.5 miles per hour. And so we have, we have a card they gave us to swipe. Let's see if it'll open or we have to swipe it, I'm not sure. All right, we're swiped and officially in. And I believe, I believe she said 216. Let me get, let me get my sheet and look at it. Yeah, 216 should be right up here on the left. All right, we got 222, we're looking for 216. Man, I got some speed bumps out here, I want to tell you. Nice little paved road. See some folks out walking. This is it. There you go. 216. Look up, sir. We're on the right. So I don't know. We'll see how what we have to do. That's a nice level spot. I like it. We've got a little picnic table there. And no trees to get in the way or scrape the daybreak with. So let's get on in and uh, get hooked up. They have a meter here. Looks like one like you'd see on the side of your house. I might get a bill. There you go. Okay, that's that's all my gear. <laughs> yeah, I was going to tell you guys about this. I think I mentioned it in another video. But uh, one thing uh, you might not realize if you got to get into this RV camping, uh, you may need to buy a lot of things before you can start camping. I did. It, uh, this rig didn't come with hardly anything. Well, it didn't come with nothing, to be honest with you. I had to buy everything, get all my hoses, and, uh, and I got, so uh, I got my, well, I got me a little 
propane heater down there too but i had to buy everything uh you're looking at about fifteen hundred dollars worth of gear and i'm not done yet there'll be more so i'm gonna get this stuff out of here and see if i can hook her up we'll get daybreak ready for tonight we are all hooked up this is the first time i've been on full hookups uh Last time we couldn't, didn't have the right power cord for a 30 amp, so we couldn't hook up with the power, but now we do. We've got power, we've got water going in, and we got the drain system going for the sewage and the, uh, the gray water showers. So everything's hooked up. Looks like we're gonna have a comfortable night. <clears throat> this is a very nice campground. Uh, I like it because it's flat. That means the refrigerator's gonna work well. Got the refrigerator on too, and it's chilling up. And I don't know if you guys can see that. There goes the sun. <laughs> there goes the sun down. So it's going to start getting a little chilly in a little while. But it's not bad. It's been a real nice day in the 70s. And so daybreak is hooked up. We're going to go in and uh, chill out for a few minutes, and we'll be back with you. Okay, you're looking at my furnace now. Wow, that feels good. Good good heat coming out of there. I have my thermostat set. Actually, it's very comfortable in here, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the thermostat down. We don't need much heat right now. Let's get this uh, thermostat turned out. show you the thermostat up here. There you go. You see, excuse, my, <laughs> excuse my mess on my bed. My goodness. Oh, I haven't had the time to straighten it up. Really haven't. And... Uh, Got plenty of lights over here, so I see I turned on some more lights. There's some windows all around the bed. You want to get a view, plenty of windows in, in this rig. So daybreak is well equipped. And uh, we're going to have, it looks like we'll have a pretty good night. I got hooked up first time I've done full hookups. And, and so, of course, I had to take it a little slow to make sure I was doing everything right. Most, po most important thing is to get to your campground, your site, get your site early, get hooked up early. You don't want to be out there in the dark or the, when it's real cold trying to hook up at late at night. So I try to time my trip so I'll be there before sundown. And we did that uh, today. We made it all right. And even though in the winter time, the, it gets dark a lot quicker. I think it's dark now around six o'clock. So we're good and uh, going to, See you in a little while. We're going to get some a little bit of supper going here after a while. We'll see what we have. It is dinner time at the campground. And as you can see, <laughs> we have everything on. The coffee pots. I got some boiling water over there. We're going to pour in some of this adventure meal. So, yeah, I know. I'm taking the easy way out tonight. Fixing something simple, quick. And well, anyway, I've had a kind of a long day, but there will be some complete meals cooked in here. I have an oven, and down there on the bottom somewhere, there's an oven. So we're going to uh, be cooking some meals in the oven and on the stove and uh, getting some of our favorite recipes later on. But right now, this will do it for tonight. So you're looking at dinner. We're going to have that and maybe, uh, let me see over here. Oh, there's some fruit. You'll we'll have a little fruit there for dessert. That'll be it. So let's go ahead and uh, get this dinner on. Let me show you guys something about this adventure meal. This is why I love them. Not only are they delicious, but look at this Best Buy day. I don't know if you can see that. Best Buy September 2051. And I'm sure I'll be around to eat that by 2051. Are you kidding? Anyway, uh, so we're having beef stroganoff tonight with noodles. And, uh, oh, yeah, they got a lot of nutrition in them, but they are delicious. So, let get this thing open. I'm going to pour some hot water in it. It takes about 10 minutes, and you've got yourself a good meal. Now, this is one of these old-timey camping coffee pots like they used to have when I was growing up. I wish you'd look at that. It, that. That pot is talking to me. It's saying, John, you're going to have some delicious coffee in just a few minutes. Yeah, she's a going. You can hear her perking. Okay, guys, dinner is ready. Oh, that coffee was delicious. I tried a little bit of it. Thanks for watching.
We appreciate everyone that watches my channel. If you're new to the channel and enjoy these videos, please uh, subscribe. And don't forget to uh, ring the bell. Hit that like button. See you guys on the next adventure.